We know that science um, and technology and education uh, have a kind of circular relationship. So education or, and specifically scientific education has uh, led to the development of um, science and technology. But then um, in return, science and technology have actually um, impacted the, the concept, the philosophy of education and the delivery of education and the whole, edu the, the whole educational process. And so um, we see that before the development of uh, modern science and technology, people use the blackboards and uh, the ink pens and the papers for uh, transmitting knowledge and sharing information. But with the development of, of technology, especially computer technology, and then the IT technology, um, it has actually totally changed the course and direction and mode of education. So uh, uh, once again, uh, to remind you that in this brief discussion, we will just uh, discuss the very current um, changes or impact that science and technology have brought in the field of education. So beginning with the current example, um, let's see a recent example. The COVID-19 uh, pandemic to me has brought a paradigm shift in the philosophy of education and in the delivery and transmission of education. And so one of the most important fields of life that this pandemic has um, actually impacted is the field of education. Right now I'm sitting in uh, front of my mobile in, in, uh, at my home and I'm sharing my views and my knowledge and my information with students and I have go, gone beyond the confines of the classroom. In the classroom, I might be teaching uh, around 20 to 30 students, but now my videos on the YouTube um, actually are seen by hundreds of, um, uh, of interested people and students and general viewers. So um, again, the recent paradigm shift because of, the, uh, of this COVID-19 has actually um, developed our awareness further regarding the use of science and technology, especially information technology and computer and IT in the field of education. So for example, many people were not aware of, um, of these particular um, IT tools such as Google Classroom and Zoom and Teams and many others. And similarly, many even didn't reflect on the possible use of the already familiar social media um, applications such as WhatsApp and Skype for educational purposes. So many people use those um, uh, apps for other purposes for communication, but specifically for educational purposes, this is a new uh, uh, way in which we are looking at these particular apps. So this is a recent example of how science and technology has actually come into the field of education and has impacted it. Um, there are both sides of the coin in terms of the impact of science and technology on education. There are pros and there are cons. The pros actually is access. For example, uh, now if you have an internet connection and a mobile or a laptop, you have access to all sources of knowledge and information from around the world. And you don't have to go to a physical library to read something or to watch something. You can just sit at your home and read things on your mobile in PDF form and, um, and in the form of eBooks and in the form of websites. And so it has actually added to access um, of people to the sources of knowledge. 
The second thing is convenience. Again, right now I'm sitting in front of uh, my mobile and I'm I'm sitting in my room at my home and I'm actually sitting in a very convenient environment and I am sharing or discussing these things with uh, my students and other people and so it has brought me convenience. The next thing in which uh, um, uh, information technology or generally technology, science and technology have impacted is flexibility. So there is flexibility for students and there is flexibility for teachers. Flexibility in terms of sources of knowledge, flexibility in terms of time, flexibility in terms of the ways in which you can communicate with, uh, uh, with your students or with your teachers or among teachers and among students. And then cost. Uh, in many cases, many students are not um, going to their schools and colleges and so the extra cost in terms of uh, transport. Similarly, many books are available in the e-form and so you don't have to buy the books that are more, more costly, more, more expensive, the books in the physical form. And there are many, many other uh, ways in which it has actually impacted the educational process positively in terms of reducing cost and similarly variety of approaches so right now I can reach to my students through WhatsApp I can reach to them through Facebook I can reach to them through e emails and I can use more specialized forms of, of uh, technology for the uh, transmission of knowledge um, and expertise such as the Google, Google Classroom or Teams or Zoom and so many others. Similarly, the speed of communication has just uh, increased with the, um, with the development of science and technology. So just a click on the email or a text message through WhatsApp um, and a single click and you can send your, your lecture or your information to hundreds of students and colleagues. And so this has actually speeded up the process. Quality. The quality, it has actually impacted uh, the quality because many, there were many teachers and many students who were not aware about many sources of knowledge and many ways of transmission or learning of knowledge that has actually now changed. And because you have access to more sophisticated sources of knowledge and to more sources of knowledge rather than one, that has actually impacted educational, educational process in terms of its quality. There are certain um, cons as well um, or certain limitations in the use of, um, of the, in the impact of technology on education. One is access in more developed areas or in more developed countries, people have access to information technology and to internet, but in less developed countries and less developed areas, there might be issues of access which can actually hamper the process of smooth transmission of knowledge and information. The second one is equity. Uh, because certain students don't have access to sources of knowledge and information, and, and they don't have access to, uh, to the internet and to IT. So in that case, uh, equity, the issues of equity might be uh, impacted. And so certain or some sections of the society might not have access to these sources and they might be deprived of these sources of information. Um, cost, again, um, in one way it has reduced cost, but on the other hand, because informational um, gadgets that we use for using information technology might be costly. So that might have added to the cost in, in some ways. Um, so it has its pros and cons in terms of cost as well. Um, and then we have issues in practical, practical type of issues, skills and learning. Um, like there are certain subjects that need you to be practically present in a laboratory and to work under the supervision of experts and scientists and your teachers. That might be an issue if uh, 
you are just depending on technology or distance for distance learning but you are not inside uh, a particular laboratories uh, for practically doing things so maybe there are issues as well but technology has also impacted the quality of practical skills and it has impacted the quality of practical skills in a better way now we have better equipment equipment for the use of our students and teachers because of modern technology um, and again the uh, the quality concept could be included both in the pros and cons in some cases if we uh, associate quality with uh, access as well in that case my uh, there might be some com compromise on the quality if certain sections of students or teachers do not have the requisite um, the requisite knowledge or skills to use information technology or to use technology for the for the process of education and then in many cases uh, it becomes a mechanical process uh, like a presence uh, of a teacher and students in a physical environment is a more uh, you would say genuine and uh, it gives physical feeling of association as human beings but if you are completely relying on on technological developments and technology uh, for the educational process it might make it a bit mechanical and physical <clears throat> and health impact this could also be included in the cons because um, if you are uh, uh, too much dependent on technology uh, it can in many cases students especially become addicted to the use of modern gadgets uh, of information technology such as mobiles and laptops and, and playing games and so they can become addicted and confined to uh, closed spaces such as to their rooms or to their homes and because they they might not go outside for games and for physical activities so it can have um, a kind of physical impact negative physical impact as well uh, and maybe psychological uh, it, it might have psychological impact as well because uh, if you are physically impacted that can lead to impact on a psychological level so overall we can say we have come a long way in terms of the impact of technology science and technology on education and I personally think it's um, mostly positive in fact there are certain cons as well that we have to be aware of so that we can deal with those cons um, uh, towards the end I would just like to give um, a recent example from my own talk and um, my own uh, online lecture with uh, my, my MPhil students so I saw that um, two of the students were actually um, uh, one of the students basically one of the students was actually traveling somewhere so he was sitting in the back of, of a car and he was suffering from some back pain but he was taking my class and he was in a way um, enjoying it as well because he was suffering from pain but because he was taking part in the class uh, discussion so so he was that might have you know some some, some kind of positive psychological impact on his well-being as well and so there were other students who um, during that class told me that um, it is much more convenient and much more easy especially the female students who were studying in far far flung areas they were sitting in their homes and they were um, happy that they didn't have to travel for two or three hours to come to the university passing through difficult roads hilly mountainous uh, roads so they were sitting in their homes the only problem that they faced um, um, was actually not having good quality of internet so if we can so that's the cons of it and some of the students couldn't take part because of the um, unavailability of good quality internet or in some cases some students might not have access to uh, to good quality gadgets such as good quality mobiles or, or laptops so those might be the cons as well so uh, to sum it up um, this is quite an interesting issue and as students you might think about and as scholars as well you might think about um, 
how to actually use the pros or the the goods that technology bring into education and how to avoid